Good morning, everyone, and welcome to today's workshop. Uh, today, we're going to do something different compared to what we've done in the past few online sessions. We're going to just go through some um, 3D designing. So today, we will uh, learn how to design um, using Fusion 360. Uh, so Fusion 360 is a very user-friendly software specifically for enthusiasts to get introduced to 3D designing. And it's also really good for those who have a more advanced understanding in designing to use it uh, for even more technical, mechanical purposes. Uh, so today we're just going to show you some really basic designs. As you can see right over here, um, uh, the assembly keychain that, that I've put right over here, um, that, that is one of the models that we're going to show you how to build. And it's actually very easy to customize based on what you want to design as well. Uh, towards the end of the workshop, after we show you the designs, we'll also go through a slicing software called Cura, in which you, if you have a 3D printer and you'd like to print your designs, we'll show you steps on how uh, to prepare your 3D design into transitioning into a model that would be ready for 3D printing. So a little introduction about the assembly. The assembly is a smart lab that's based out of N5 and we've been operating since December of 2014. Over the past couple of years, we've conducted more than 250 free workshops and to this date, we're still conducting workshops online. Um, uh, our workshops are basically broken down into three different categories. We have assembly hack, where we show more hands-on embedded systems and IoT workshops. This a 3D designing workshop is considered as one of our hack workshops. We have assembly code where we do more software projects, APIs, uh, frameworks, mobile designing, IO, uh, more code based IoT, I guess you can say, um, and AR, VR, everything that comes under our code, like some of the previous workshops that we've done uh, and we've posted online, and assembly data science, which focuses more on machine learning and AI. Um, as you can see, our target audience is students, professional entrepreneurs. Again, these, these workshops are open to anyone. If you're interested, have a look at it. It's very short, very limited, and you can get as much as you want from it. Uh, our focus is on smart technology and practical application. And if you want to um, get updates on our workshops and the upcoming workshops that would be that will all be posted on our forum, which is members of the assembly.ae. Uh, you can also tag us on social media. Our social media um, handles are at Make Smart Things on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And our YouTube channel's name is The Assembly, which this workshop will be posted on. So I will um, move it on to uh, my, uh, my, uh, the fellow, my fellow interns, um, Kirtna and Rayan, who will be conducting today's workshop. Thank you. Hello guys, this is Kirtana here and today's workshop we will be learning how to design a name tag keychain as well in the end of the video I'll be also showing out you guys in uh, how to make a different customized keychains for your own. So I would suggest you guys to keep the software ready which is uh, Autodesk Fusion 360. The license is completely free either be it if you're an educator, a student or even a personal hobbyist. So anything works you can download any particular, li particular license based on the account you have. You can create an Autodesk account too. So to m we are gonna be doing a similar keychain today. So for that let's click on new design we can see a blank workspace here. Apart from creating a keychain today, we will be focusing on specific tools like extrude. This tool is to extrude to a certain level like an elevation on the top of the sketch which you have been created. And we will be using fillet. Fillet tool is to smoothen the edges. And we will be learning to create sketch. Basically we create multiple sketches to make a complete design so we'll be doing that and also we will be using insert tool to import an SVG onto a design so these are the important tools will, which we will be focusing today 
so for this I'll be clicking on create sketch right now now it's asking me for a plane I'm gonna choose XZ plane since it's my base so I'll click on XZ plane now now I'll be using a rectangle base since the names are a little long I need to keep it a little long so I would choose to use a two point rectangle for the name tag you can either choose a two point rectangle or you can also click on create to view different options of creating a rectangle so I'll use two point rectangle this is similar to a graph you can place your first corner here in the origin and get it towards 50 or I'm in this case I'm using 50 or you can even get it to 60 if you wish to and take to the top which will be your breadth I'm gonna use 3 centimeter or 2 centimeter works too depending on how long and how large you want the name on your keychain so I'm gonna clicking on 60 mm and 30 mm which is my length and my breadth click on enter once you're done now we need to extrude this sketch to a certain height so that it comes out as a 3d design so I'm gonna go to the solid again I can find my extrude tool over here the plane is already selected since there are no other sketches I'm gonna extrude it to 3mm maybe because since I'm 3d printing it it needs to be optimum so that the print comes out very good if it's too thin it, it's kind of problem again so just keep your dimensions little uh, like keeping 3d printing in mind create your dimensions so that it comes out good so this is the thing which I've created right now I'm gonna use zoom to keep it close and pan it to the center and to get rid of the tools you can just click on delete so that it comes back to make the edges smooth I'm gonna use fillet tool here right here and since I'm gonna apply the fillet initially only to the edges I'll be clicking on only edges so this is my first edge second edge and you can turn the orientation right here it shows out here how many edges you have selected so depending on that you get to understand if you have selected the edges properly so four edges have been selected and I'm gonna use a fillet of 5 mm for this so this is the top so yeah this is done now I'm gonna create a new sketch again to create a hole on this uh, rectangle here so that I can create a hole through the hole for my key ring so I'm gonna use a center diameter circle get it to the point over here and I'm gonna use 5 mm hole so initially we need to create a sketch and then we can create a hole to create a hole you have to click on extrude and click on the circle which needs which the hole needs to be created and there are certain operations you have to change in the menu here click on to object because since we are not creating a new body we are creating a hole which doesn't need any particular dimensions but it cuts towards the object so I'm gonna click change the operation to cut and then I'm gonna go back and select the plane and click on OK or you can directly click on enter now the hole is created I would like to choose to smoothen all of my edges I have so I'm gonna use fillet to the edge maybe 2mm fillet will be fine for this or even you can use a little lesser ones which is maybe of one 
50 click on fill it again and for the circle let's do it 1 mm and click enter so initially your base your body is done now you have to work on what design you're gonna put it on top since this is a na name tag keychain I'm gonna use uh, in my case I'm using the assembly in your case you can use your name maybe uh, you can just write your name um, which is probably kind of be it, it can be two dimensional also but make sure it is it can be extruded out of it so I have an image downloaded of the assembly logo and what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna convert it into SVG and then import it onto my design so I have a pre-downloaded image with me and now I'm gonna come convert my image into SVG I'm using this website for this so click on choose files so I have a um, logo for assembly here I would suggest if your image is a colored one use colored and if your image is a uh, gray or monochrome ones you can use that in this case my image is colored so I'm gonna use colored ones and start conversion once this is done the SVG automatically gets downloaded to your computer we can see that here so now we can go back to fusion 360 and click on insert right here and click on insert SVG there's a small folder over here click on that so this is the logo which I've choose before and click on this plane so this is to change the orientation of your logo and this is to pan it to the place where you want so this you can use to zoom in and zoom out make sure it fits properly into your design arrange it properly and then click on enter so now it's time for extrusion for this design which has been made here so I'm gonna zoom in a bit and then pan it to the center and get rid of the tool with delete so I'm going to the solid click on extrude and select each of them select all the alphabets here you should be very careful while clicking on the right one now I've ended up having a problem you just have to be very careful just pan it to the center zoom it as much as you can so that you can do it properly so I'm gonna click on solid again extrude just choose one at a time it kind of makes a difference when it shows the focus for you so that just click on top of that and I'm doing an extrusion of 2mm since I'm gonna be 3d printing this I want a little bold to appear since this is a very small object you can also use 3 if you want yep now the extrusion is made I'll zoom out this one now so yes it's done 
similarly you can also not only put text into this you can also convert your images into SVG and then import them here I would suggest to keep the images whatever you convert to SVG shouldn't be more complicated because it gets little harder I'll also show you out a basic ideas of like how many varieties of keychains you can do so this is a unicorn keychain which I've made before so in this we can see that I've used two lines to make the sketch and also I've used two arcs you can see those options here you can use arc I use center point arc especially so you can make arcs over here and similarly repeat the same process I've done before and I'll show you out it's a different keychain so in this case I've used an hexagon to create the sketch and then I extruded it and I repeated the same option and I've downloaded this logo and then converted into SVG so let's see something else this is a NASA keychain here I used a polygon of four sides so you can just click on create new sketch and you can it shows you some options like you can click on polygon and you can use a some uh, circumscribed or inscribed polygons and you can just mention the sides you can do the similar ones and I've did the similar process of converting the SVG and then importing it and here we can see a different NASA keychain as well this is an Iron Man keychain I've repeated the exact same process for this also so this is all about it you can make it more personalized I'm just giving an idea you can also maybe convert your image into a cartoon and then convert into an SVG and then import it also you just have to work on details you just have to zoom in a bit and then do it so yeah now my colleague Ryan will be helping you guys out with creating and designing a base on Fusion 360 more personalized ones which will be interesting for you guys to 3D print in the end of the video I'll be helping you guys out with setting an optimum settings in Cura for 3D printing it Good morning everyone, I hope everyone is doing well, safe and sound. For today's video, I'll be looking on how to create and design a vase using Autodesk Fusion 360. Now, before I start off, I just want to give you like a quick reminder that having a tangible design or a, a tangible model that you can feel and touch um, has a lot of process and procedure that goes into it. For example, you need a design software like Autodesk Fusion 360 and then convert it or export it to SCL files and then bringing it to a slicing software in which you can kind of change different segments in it. And then finally, taking it into 3D printer to print the model. But for today's video, I'll be purely focusing on Autodesk Fusion 360, so it's only the design aspect that is a stage one okay so i'll be creating a base as you see here i'm going to be creating a sketch i created a sketch already so i'm clicking on this plane now the most or the tools that we're going to be uh using a lot in this video is the line and spline as you see here so these two tools are going to be used mostly. So i go from line and i click 90 millimeters okay 90 millimeters is basically the height of my base okay so I finish sketching. So the next step is I go to Google Chrome and look for a vase. So you pick the most suitable profile of the vase that you find you prefer for your design. So you go for images and you, you pick the most suitable design. So you go for bellflower. I like this. It kind of looks a very... I prefer this kind of design and profile. So I just save image in my computer. Let me call it face fine in my pictures and then save it. Fine. Now I move on or head to 
head to the Fusion 360 and I go for Insert Canvas. Now, Canvas actually is a tool that helps you to kind of place images on Fusion 360. I go to my pictures and there you go and click on the plane that you have already used and kind of scale it and position it, position it and make sure it's symmetrical. OK, so this looks let me just decrease the size of it as well. I think this looks good yeah kind of but keep in mind it's symmetric so this is the most important and the height so let me okay let me increase let me increase a bit of it okay i think this looks good and then i just do okay yeah this looks definitely cool now i go to create a sketch and keep on the sketch on go for the line and create a, a vertical line as you see here and go for horizontal line and then go for okay okay means you're creating and you're continuing it and then go for a spline and just from here wherever you stopped continue and trace the profile the existing profile that you have on it and then let me just put it here and then do okay and go again for a spline and go wherever you continued i think i continued from here just kind of i think this looks good and then do okay Line and then go for a line and just intersect it to both and then you finish the sketching line so this is the face that i want to actually create and revolve it so i go for revolve and then create this so select this face and then select the vertical line that you have picked and there you go and just do okay there you go guys so this is so just orbit it let me orbit it just to look at it. So yeah, it looks cool. I like so I think it looks good. And then just click on this, okay? And let's hide the canvas. Let's hide this. So this is uh, so this is on the left side where you can hide whatever you want. So let me if I want to hide this, you can hide this. Fine. Okay, I think we can hide that. Now, this is not the this is not the full design that I want for today's. Actually, I want a face that is hollow inside. There are many zillion ways to create a hollowness inside this face. But let's see which one we're going to go for. So you can go for creating a circle. But for today, I think I'm just going to go for a shell. Shell is a good, uh, good way. Let me just orbit this. Okay. Let me click on this face. And then let me use shell. Okay. Shell means it goes up inside, but this is my mistake. So you need to just keep orbit it so you can see the whole thing. And then shell it. Place. Okay, just keep in mind that you need to pick the right. Okay. Okay, perfect. And then you can you can um kind of manipulate in the inside thickness, but this looks good for me. Yeah, this definitely looks good. Let me just check it in. Let me orbit it again. Okay. Yeah, this looks good to me. Now again, you can change this design or kind of manipulate in your design using fillet. Fillet is a good in word in kind of kind of change its kind of traces or its profile so it kind of like this so but this is definitely not the thing that i want so you can you can squeeze a lot of things that i'm showing you right now but yeah so you can actually manipulate in a lot of things in this vase so as you see here this is the full vase that i have created literally using two minutes so there are other tools that you can use in order for you to actually have this face in a better way, in a better segmented, using for modify. And you guys can see here, shell, chamfer, fillet, press pull, and many other more that, that can help you set the face in a better arrangement. Thank you so much and have a nice day. Hello, guys. I hope you guys thoroughly enjoyed the video till now. And now it's time to set up the 3d printing settings for your keychain to be printed so if this is your first time 3d printing your stuff in ultimaker cura i would suggest you guys to initially install ultimaker cura 4.6 or a later version of it depending on your possibilities you can install it from google and keep it ready so when you start off your 
a software which is ultimate ultimate cura it will end up showing you up to set up your printer first so you could just do it by clicking on settings or it will show you a command to ask it like asking you to set up your printer so either ways if you just skip it then you can just go to the printer and then click on add printer or manage your existing printers you can do either so to get your 3d designs onto the 3d printing software there is no specific way of doing it but you can just drag your file and get it onto the heated bed so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to go back to my file location get it back here and put it on the bed so this is how your design looks like in the 3d printer you can actually envision how small or how big it is and you can change accordingly i'm going to show you out some basic tools to view your design this is you can see it in different angles and you can just click on the design and this tool is to move your design back and forth and this tool is to scale your design in case let's say if you didn't concentrate much about your dimensions in the designing phase it's a complete possibility for you to change your dimensions you can scale your design to maybe more or less 30 mm you can change them to it's already preset which is 60 and 30 and right now i'm not changing it because we have focused on using specific dimensions in our designing stage itself so in case if you had missed out something you can you have the chance of doing it here this is this tool is to rotate your 3d design in different angles and axes so to put it to get it to the initial position you can just click on reset so it get gets back to it so these are the basic stuff you will be knowing or if this is a new software you can know about it so you can just click here to set up few settings so we have something called layer height here this is basically we if you have no if if you know about 3d printing before it it, it creates layers by layers so uh, each layer is going to be 0.2 mm so i would like you guys to set up this first and then let's go for enfill there's nothing to do enfill in this specific design because enfill is used when when you are uh, when you have designed something a hollow object maybe so in this case i don't have anything hollow it's completely extruded it's completely solid inside so i'm going to give enfill of 0 here let's go back let's go to the support support is used when um let's say in case you don't have a heated bed for your 3d printer i would suggest you guys to go to support go to the build plate addition it's none here because we have a heating bed and you just have to select either raft or brim options for the setting so right now i'm just keeping it none so these are the few basic settings which you need to do while working with cura and which is optimum for 3d printing i would say so i'm just slicing it now so slicing is done and it says 28 minutes to print the complete design of yours which is our keychain you can also preview your sliced object you can see how exactly it looks like i want to show you guys from in from the initial stage to how it's been done till the end we can see how the design is emerging from a stage 1 and we can also see how the 3d printer exactly works right here 
so by looking at your design you get to understand if your design is very too thin for 3d printing or you can thicken it a bit to make it look more finished quality when it's been 3d printed so keeping you can just get it here slice it and if you can you can look at how it's how it is and you can change it how you, it needs to be for you in the way you like it right so i hope this helps thank you so much for watching this video